All right, so probably the most important thing that I remembered, because this is something I learned a long time ago, and I really emphasize this not only in my coaching, but in my philosophy as a coach in general, and that is nutrition is more important than exercise for your health and for your weight loss or for managing your weight. Now, a lot of people are gonna you know, criticize me for saying this. A lot of people are gonna say, oh, how can you say that? They're both equally important. One of the things that quarantine taught me was is that I, I really don't, and, and most, of, most of my clients actually, do not have a firm grasp on nutrition when routine is completely mismanaged. Like I mentioned in the very beginning of quarantine, for me, I gained seven to 10 pounds. You know, some of it was probably water weight, but like, you know, a good chunk of it was fat because I sort of gave myself this like fuck it mode let's just have fun and like be on vacation and order out and you know buy this thing and try this food and it wasn't all with the intention of just being a glutton and a sloth i mean a lot of it was like let's have some fun and let's try these foods we don't normally eat because we're on vacation because we're on quarantine and what i realized was is when when you do that it's very easy to overeat calories because you're not really focusing on the nutrition or the health or or even hunger cues to a large degree it's mostly like let's eat because this is pleasurable instead of let's eat because this is you know better for your nutrition or better for your health. And so the reason why I make this claim and why I, I have such a focus in my business on nutrition is because nutrition is very, it's very easy to go down the slippery slope where you just sort of give up completely instead of having this moderation or balance. And one of the things I learned during quarantine is, is that no matter how hard I worked out, uh, my nutrition is what drove my body fat to either, you know, go down or go up. And in a lot of cases, I was still working out like I normally did. In fact, I was working out more often than I did when I was working a regular job because I had, you know, I was doing more body weight workouts so they weren't, I didn't get a sore from that or it wasn't as challenging and so it was easier to do a workout every single day. Arguably, I was burning more calories a day than I would have otherwise and yet my body fat still went up because my calories went up. And as a result of that, another thing that I realized was is the more I worked out, the more hungry I was. So like on days where I wouldn't work out, my appetite wasn't that strong and it was a lot easier to manage calories. Whereas on days where I would work out, I would actually have an increased appetite, but I wouldn't like match the amount of calories that I you know, estimated in terms of how many I burned to the amount of calories that I was consuming as a result of it, an uptick or a upregulation of my appetite. So to give you some numbers, like let's say that I burned 200 calories through exercise on a workout that I did. Sorry, my dog just knocked something over. Are you okay, Aria? Yeah, you're gonna be all right. It scare you. So one, like for example, I would burn 200 calories through my workout, let's say, you know, I don't know that for sure, I'm just giving a hypothetical. I would probably eat twice that amount because my appetite was, you know, increased and I have a very strong appetite as it is. Like I gotta be very careful because of, you know, how strong, how active I am already predisposition, gives me a predisposition to have a higher and stronger appetite, uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but mismanaged, it can very well turn into excess body fat that very easily comes on. Uh, Cause it's much easier to, eat more calories than it is to burn it. And that was another thing that I was reminded of. I sort of always knew this and I, I sort of preached this in my coaching, but you know, it's so much easier. You can eat 200 calories in 10 minutes, whereas it might take you like 30 minutes to burn 200 calories through a run or, you know, through a high intensity workout or a strength training workout. So, you know, it's, it's so much easier to eat more calories in a shorter amount of time than it is to burn more calories in a shorter amount of time. And that simple fact of human evolution and, and energy balance really hit home when it came to how nutrition affected my my health and my weight. So I came out of quarantine really realizing that the most beneficial lesson that I learned was is that if I can't get a solid workout in, I should definitely make sure that I'm dialed in with my nutrition. And that's the lesson that I wanna give most specifically to you is that I hope that quarantine taught you that your nutrition is more important than your exercise in a lot of ways. And that you probably have a weakness when it comes to your nutrition more so than you have with exercise. I mean, hell, maybe you have a weakness for not doing either, but you know, quarantine really taught me like, hey, your nutrition is super important for body composition and you're gonna have a much easier time maintaining or losing weight when you manage your calories as opposed to trying to outrun or outwork out a diet that's really high in calories.